What's up, motherfuckers? I have problems. Alright. Not the final review in the system, but we're getting there. Nia. She's really not that special. Just another engine to add to the Yellow Engine's Go collection. Um, I have a Trackmaster Nia here somewhere, but I can't really compare her to the other one because I don't have her put back together yet, I think. I don't know. She's around here somewhere. It really doesn't bother me to wear, but yeah. Um, but yeah. Now, I really don't know what I'm going to do about music for this video because honestly, Nia doesn't really have enough music to run off of, so we'll just have to go from here. Um, let's get her unboxed. All right, guys. So, here she is. Honestly, still no painted buffers. The cylinders aren't even painted. That's a sad Um, The decals on the sides are not lined up. How could they just let this happen? They aren't even lined up. There's these top. Uh, on the tra Trackmaster talking variant, the smoke box doesn't go as far. We see because she's got her little headlamp there, though. And here's her design as well. Coal load. Pretty large coal load, I think, compared to, like, Thomas. Yeah, it's virtually the same coal load. And Nia is almost exactly in a, com a complete recolor than Thomas. About the same thing as Thomas and Percy, or well, just Thomas. Thomas and Nia share very similar attributes, and you can really tell. Yeah, she's not bad, really. I like the look of her. She works pretty well. Her truck, on the other hand, it's a standard purple log car with these little bunting flags on them. I don't understand why. But they just are like that. Oh, the yard wheels. I hate those. <sighs> um, to be honest with you guys, I really don't have much to say on these reviews. But Mattel, they're trying. They are very much trying to make these as accurate to the all engines go counterparts of the engines as possible. And I like that. See, you got the her, her buffers. It's true out longer than the, the other engines, because that is true that did happen that does happen in the show. And she's got the big 3D cylinders here that her other model had, but they really made an emphasis on these, and I can see why they did. And they gave her her Westinghouse pump too. Now that's a nice, neat, neat molded detail that I, they carried over from the show. They gave her her Westinghouse pump. And as for those who don't know what Westing pump, oh, Westinghouse pumps do, it takes the the water the water condensation from inside this uh, smoke box and it puts it back into the tanks. Well, that's why it's connected to the smoke box and the tanks usually. Here on Nia's Nia's model, it's not really shown. And then they give them a rolling stock. Like, I know the three packs were just shown off at Walmart, because my Walmart has the three packs. They have the Dragon Run Thomas, the Medieval Thomas three pack, and they have the Go Ghost Scaring Machine Percy three pack. Which is really nice. It's just. It's nice to know they're actually giving a shit now, when beforehand they didn't. 
because it was very clear that they did not give a shit about the models and how they presented themselves. Mattel itself as a company was doing very poorly up until recently, and Well guys, I think that's it for this review. I know the box says instructions inside. We're just gonna show off the box real quick. Like, there's Nia on the back and her name is the same in every single language. Her name literally means purpose in Swahili. But what the fuck is her purpose? I find it funny that they still put the Hit Entertainment logos on these when Hit Entertainment lost the license to Thomas years ago. Thomas and Friends talk about <laughs> Maybe I'll find some place for you, Nia. Don't know where, but I know where Percy's going. Also, I'm gonna take a look another another look at Nia real quick. Because I just noticed something that I I don't get why they did it on just her. But her cab, her cab windows, that's a sticker right there. That is an orange sticker that they plastered onto this because they didn't want to, one, carve out windows. But if you're going to do it with Nia, why don't do it with, why, why'd you not do it with the likes of Thomas? I get it, you don't, you don't even have Nia's whistle on there. And she has a whistle. Someone needs to give her one. I think at some point I'll have to find one and give her one, but that's, I don't get it. You give a sticker to Nia, but you can't give it to Thomas or Percy? Or hell, give the other engines that have cab windows, cab windows, like James and Gordon? That makes no sense. I just realized that that was a sticker by looking at it in this direction. The way that you guys are looking at it now, I looked at it in the same direction and I'm not understanding why they gave her a sticker. All right, guys, rant over. I don't know what I'm going to do about James just yet. I want to see what my buddy wants to do about it. Uh, but yeah, we'll go from there. Um, I hope y'all have an amazing week or weekend whenever this releases. I mentioned in Emily, I think it's either Emily or Gordon's video, there was a big video coming out about Rose Online. Um, by the time y'all have seen this, it will already have been out. It's supposed to release the weekend of September 3rd, which is the coming weekend. This is being filmed on to the night of Tuesday the 30th. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys have a great weekend or great weekend or this will finally come out. And honestly, I don't think. If I buy them, I really don't think I'll keep doing reviews unless people really want me to. Because I received 23 votes on a Twitter poll that people really wanted me to do this. And then there was like a couple that didn't want me doing this. But I find it neat that somebody actually wanted this time. So, yeah. I've got to have the collection now. Um, alright guys, I will see y'all on the next video, take care.